Hey, this is Winkler Johnson with some advice for all you evil geniuses out there in role-playing land. Hi, the party. Come on, you're a man with a plan, or a lizard with a plan, or whatever you are with a plan to take over the world, or the country, or whatever it is you plan to do with your clan. And you're in an RPG universe. You're probably in the Dungeons and Dragons universe. Or you're in an equivalent universe. You must know there are parties of adventurers, Scooby gangs, gangs of anarchs, whatever. You must know about these things. You must know they exist. The party of adventurers hasn't just coalesced out of the blue this is the first time a group of heroes has come has come together and is going to save the land it must have happened before you'd know about these things so why not hire them make them your own you must have some things which are on the surface not terribly evil or even appear to be good say you have a plan to, well, conquer all the world, conquer the, conquer the known countries of the world and get them under your boot. You know there are things out there that will oppose you, other evil things. Why not hire that party of paladins and goodly clerics and psychotic murder hobbits to go get rid of your rivals for you? Go kill out, go kill those orcs, they're evil. Go wipe out those mind players. They're evil. <laughs> Go knock over this rival, nasty, evil, baby-eating kingdom. They're evil. They're rivals. They're possible opponents that you will have to deal with. Now, this means that you also get to keep tabs on the people most likely to do you in when you make your big play for power. You'll learn about them. You'll know their moves. You'll know their secrets. Hell, you probably even know what they're equipped with because you've equipped them yourself. So you know everything about them and you can form a counter team to deal with them or to get rid of them at the best opportune moment when they are no longer useful or they've worked out that, well, now you've now the only things that stand in your way are the good things and, well, those orphanages have got to be burned. Well, you know they're going to turn on you, so have a plan for that. So, hire the party. Now, thematically, if you, as a DM, this does a number of interesting things. It introduces the main villain into that sort of thing, the main villainous organisation, as a group, as an employer, as an entity with goals and objectives. The party gets to see what the bad guy wants. And also, you get to have that entire sympathy for the devil thing. Maybe your Emperor Palpatine, your Lex Luthor, Whoever, I can't think of that, your Ming the Merciless, has some good points, has some things to get done. Maybe they will bring order. Maybe they will unite all the squabbling kingdoms. It'll be under a boot, booted, oppressive, totalitarian foot, but they'll be united. There won't be all these petty civil wars anymore. That'll be a good thing. Maybe he'll bring about universal literacy or roads or all those other things that what the Romans did for us. Because... They were pretty much a good model evil empire, but good game out of it. In fact, go and watch my video about being good in an evil place. It's pretty much the same thing. You get to build sympathy for the for the bad guy. The players eventually get to make a rather tricky choice when they finally twig that maybe their patron, their employer, their mentor, well, they're evil. <laughs> they're the bad guy. And what do you do? Do you go along with it? Do you not? Um, do you... You know, does an argument break out in, in the room? As you know, three players say, oh, let's let's keep working for him, or we can turn him, or, you know, let's do him, and he's obviously the bad guy, we've got to get him. <laughs> so you get that argument going, you get a bit of conflict, doesn't become so cut and dried. So you get all those good things going on. If you have the bad guy, employ the party. So, thanks for listening.